Coming up on the HUB News Show, we have information on Friday's Spirit Day class competition in the AMC. All this and much, much more coming up on this Tuesday, January 18th, 2022 Gold Day edition of the HUB News Show. Let's go. Hey, Crocker. I hope you had a great three-day break. I'm Kyle. And I'm Anna. Let's go over to our top story. Friday, January 21st, will be our next Spirit Day and class competition. The Spirit Day is anything but a backpack day. This means instead of bringing all of your school supplies in your normal backpack, you will bring them in something else, a trash bag, a laundry basket. Get creative, Crocker. The class competition will be an all-school scavenger hunt. For more information on this, ask your first period classroom rep. Hello, I'm Lucas, and in the, in the news this week is the famous Golden Globe Awards. This year, they were surrounded by controversy due to ethical and racial scandals. For this reason, and also due to widespread COVID outbreaks, the awards shows was canceled and altogether, and the award winners were announced over Twitter. The big winner of the night was the movie West Side Story. Maybe next year's Golden Globe Awards will be better. Listen up, 7th and 8th graders. I'm sorry to announce that this dance was scheduled for Friday, January 21st, has been canceled. We will try to reschedule sometime in the spring when it is warmer and COVID cases have decreased. Thank you for your understanding. Hi, I'm Hayden, and here are your birthdays for this week. Let's wish a happy birthday to Trevor, Jane, Zadie, India, Raj, Jocelyn, Arjun, and Austin. Eighth graders, the yearbook team is working hard to create a memorable, special yearbook for you this year, and they have requested that you submit a, a quote. This quote can be your favorite quote, a quote that is important to you, a life motto, or a quote that sums up your character or belief. It should be individual to you. About 50 of you still haven't submitted, so get to it, eighth graders. To submit your quote, search yearbook on your Gmail, and there should be, and you should find it an email from Ms. Mendelssohn that has a link to the yearbook quote form. Fill it out as soon as possible. Hey Crocker, it's Hayden with your weather forecast for the week. This week there will be a partly cloudy skies with a very low chance of rain. There will be highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s. So you will want to put on some layers. The AMC 8 is an annual national math competition and it's happening here at Crocker on Monday, January 24th. The contest is a 25 question, 40 minute individual event that will challenge Viking mathematicians of all abilities. Sixth graders, seventh graders, and eighth graders are all welcome. Compete for grade level and school wide honors in this fun, rewarding competition. Sign ups are happening in room four today through Wednesday, January 19th. Drop by and sign up with Mr. Kittredge in room four. Drama Club meets today in room 13, and the Book Club meets in the library today at lunch as well. Turn in Dragon Art in the, in the library by this Thursday. In Science News, we have more information from Ms. Rodriguez's students about how you can take care of our precious planet. Hi, I'm Jasmine, and I'm right now in Ms. Rodriguez's classroom with some of her fellow students. Recently in science, we've been learning about how to take better care of our planet. I'm now here with Aubrey, so what are some of your suggestions about helping our planet? Um, one suggestion I have is eat a plant-based plant diet. Even if it's just for one day per week, some people are starting to eat meatless Wednesdays or Thursdays. Eating some fruit and vegetables helps reduce greenhouse gases and preserves water and land. Hi, Mira. So tell us about your idea about how we could help our planet. Um, we should reduce waste. We are not sure anymore that recycling is happening. So waste is being incinerated burned, and dangerous toxic gases are released into the atmosphere. Every person on average creates seven pounds of waste per day. There are just two R's left. Reduce and reuse. I'm here with Megan, and she's going to tell us one way about how we could just help our planet. We can spread the word. Talk about these four easy suggestions to your family and friends. Recently, seventh graders in Miss Fairchild's class learned about the geographic regions of China through cooking. Students make their own cooking show classics like Rachel Ray and Chop to teach their class about the regions in China and fun facts about the country, its traditions and history. Looks like a delicious project. Here are a few excerpts from some of their videos now. Hey y'all! Hey, I'm Colin. I'm Koga. I'm Yuga. And today we'll be making chow mein. And fun fact, did you know that chow mein in English means fried noodles? That's a fun fact. So we're going to let it cook for a bit. And you have to stir it. Okay, so we're stirring the onions right now. Some fun facts about China are, 
China's population is equivalent to 18.47% of the total population. Chow mein originated in northern China. Okay, good job. And now that the onions have softened, we can now add our carrots. Fun fact, China is officially known as the People's Republic of China. And as of September 2020, China is the most populated country in the world with over 1.4 billion people. Wow. Mandarin That's... is not the only language in China, too. <laughs> Hi, my name is Isabel and welcome to my cooking show. This is how you make dan dan mian or dan dan noodles. If you didn't know, mian means noodles in Mandarin. Let's start. So let's start with the ingredients. Each ingredient needed will be shown on the side of the screen. Also, the recipe is based on two servings. Please pause the video if you need to look at the ingredients. Did you know the name dan dan mian refers to a type of carrying pole? which is Dan Dan, that was used by walking street vendors who sold the dish to passerbys. The pole was carried over the shoulder with two baskets containing noodles and sauce attached at either end. Last but not least, we need to assemble the dish. So I'm going to put the noodles in first. I'm putting two servings into one plate. Then add the sauce going to be adding the toppings and then the scallions. There you go, homemade dan dan noodles. It's spicy and savory. Enjoy! Thanks for watching Crocker. It's Kyle and Anna. Have a great day Vikings.